Here we go. Rocking and rolling. Feeling good about it. Oh, did I forget something? Did I forget? Yeah, I did have that on. Good. All right. So here's Celista. We're going to give this a roll. It's actual, like, realist. It's like Baldur's Gate, kind of. But it actually uses dice rolls that you see, which seems fun to me. You know. So. Um. Oh, there we go. I was like, where's the sound, dude? Oh, the screen just changed, too. Oh, no, this just starts zooming backwards. All right. We're going to low. Uh, we're going to go new adventure. Tutorial. You know what? This might be good. Four level one characters. All right. Understood. Let's. Uh, Iron Man mode. Skip intro. Oof. We don't want to do any of that. Oh my god. Some characters have been generated by us. If you want a quick start of your adventure, we advise that you create your own party of four adventures. Understood. All right. So what are we going to do? Anton Whitesail? I mean, these seem pretty good. Or I can make my own. Sellsword. Wander? Rogue. A low life. You're, a, you're just, a, why do you look so fancy if you're a low life? And a high elf alkalite? Well, we got to take her. Right? Her. We can go new. First step of character is to select an ancestry which should determine that your parents as well as your gameplay abilities listed on the right. Some ancestries offer a lineage sub option to further refine the gameplay abilities. Okay, that seems easy enough. So what are we gonna build here? We gotta have our dwarf. High elf. High elves are descendants of the people who ruled Celesta for centuries. They are trained to use magic very early and have gift for languages. And this is gonna be like nature, right? Oh, this is like Legolas here. Well, we're gonna have at least a halfling. Is it hobbits? Except they sleep in swamp terrain? That's pretty cool. A bog person? I want a bog person. All right, we're going to get a high elf. Um, choose wizard cantrip using intelligence as a spell casting building. Common, elvish, and one language of your choice. Saving throw advantage against charm. Immunity to magical sleep. Okay, cool. So I can't be silenced. You normally, you see normally in dim light and natural darkness as if in dim light. Perception, perception, okay. All right, that's cool. And then, uh, I don't know. We adjust their, oh, we can go class. I don't think we adjust anything from here. Move six, this is just like we're selecting. Okay, and next. When do I get to name her? Oh, identity. Tutorial class selection. Uh, class determines profession, granting specific features listed on the right. This is okay. I know how to. I played. We're obviously going to be a sorcerer. Wizards spend their lives studying magic, learning more and more powerful and wondrous spells. Despite their weakness and physical, their magical abilities make them dangerous foes. I kind of want to be a sorcerer. Should we go wizard or sorcerer? I'm thinking sorcerer. It just seems cool. Oh man, look how cool that looks. That looks cool too. Let's see what they got. Dagger, dirt, quarterstaff, light crossbow. Arcana, history, insight, investigation, medicine, religion. Can cast spells from the wizard spell list. Where's the wizard spell list? Use enchanting. You can cast a spell as a ritual if the spell has the ritual tag and you have it in your spell book. You do not need to have a, the spell prepared. That seems neat, but this, I mean, she looks so cool. Charisma. Can of deception, insight, intimidation, persuasion, religion. And the sorcerer spell is. Verbal remedies and enchanting equipment.
plus dex bonus is gonna be plus intel, right? No, it's plus dex too. Bell bug. Hold alt for more info. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna sorcerer. That sounds neat. Pretty cool. Hit dice, one plus six. What is this? Hit, it's the same. We're just the same. High elf, sorcerer, high elf, wizard. All right, next. Archetype. Arcane tradition for wizards, martial archetypes for fighter clerics. Select their divine domain at level one. Each arch, arch, arch type, archetype? I think it's archetype. Offers a set of features and abilities which grants unique flavor. Okay, understood. Draconic. What does that do? Draconic ancestors select the type of dragon and associate damage type of your ancestor. Gold fire? Green poison? Black acid? Blue lightning? I like fire. You can speak to Tron. You can, what does this do? Mana print painter. Ah, that's like, yeah, that's like crowd control. Fire shield, sleet storm, conjure elemental. Okay, that's more wizardry though. Child of the rift, guiding bolt aid, daylight banishment, greater restoration. Oh, dude, daylight might be nice. Can't do haunted souls. How come I can't be a haunted soul, huh? Oh, wait, no, I clicked a button. A new adventure in the world of Celestia. You do not own this content. Go to the story page. You son of a gun. I think Draconic sounds cool. Be like Khaleesi, you know? Elemental, when dealing spell damage, matching your Draconic Ancestor, you add Charisma Modifier to the total. You gain resistance to the damage type of your ancestors for an hour at the cost of one sorcerer. And that's cool, I guess. What about this? Okay, that stays the same. Black Acid sounds so wicked. It's so evil, like you disfigure people. I don't know. I'm thinking. I wouldn't mind black acid or like. Cold would be cool. Poison is usually the best, but if we get a rogue or something, he can be that. You know what? We'll just go with fire. Fire makes sense. Instead of other ability modifiers on your saving throws against spells with other magic effects. We got. What does this have? Shield, Misty Step, Counter Spell, Greater Invisibility, Hold Monster. Acid dragon? Acid damage sounds pretty good. Poison sounds good too. Honestly, if I was fighting someone, I'd hate to have acid on me. That sounds good. Okay, let's go next. Background. A background determines the character's history prior to their adventuring life. Background offers equipment and proficiencies, but also the ability to select personality flags that determined these determine the social behavior of the character during narrative sequences. Oh, cool. Heck yeah. In addition to the personality flags offered by your background, you must also select two personality flags as dispatched on the ethical axis of law, chaos and good and evil and Solista. The alignment is a second form of personality customization. You can reinforce a personality trait by selecting the same flag twice. Flags will not affect gameplay, choices, or dialogue options, but simply modify the way your character speaks, their tone, and manners. Oh, that's cool. The resulting personality is summarized at the bottom left of the screen, where their deepest color represents the strongest personality. Understood. Alright, so you're gonna be like... Oh, these are cool! You had two passions growing up, history and magic. Your teacher saw you, saw your interest and ensured that your potential was nurtured. 
Your mission in life is to discover the secrets of the past, both magical and mundane. So you took your backpack and set out to discover the wonders of Solasta for yourself. Uh, um. Eh. I think like an aristocrat low life. This doesn't seem right. Or philosopher, maybe a spy. It's a soul sword. You spend your youth in the company of mercenaries. Oh, okay. Tough and bitter? I don't know. I think like a aristocratic spy sounds cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Um... I like that. And then egoism. That seems pretty good. Maybe. Oh, we can't choose wanderer. Yeah, that seems pretty good. An authoritarian egotistical. Uh, let's... How many? Oh, choose two. Yeah, pragmatist. That's, that looks pretty good. Oh, wait. Choose two of these? Well, then that's not leaving a whole lot of... Okay. That would be weird to give her a lawfulness, too, right? We'll just do this. Ah, oh, ability scores. For the six core attributes defining where your character excels. Strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. With values of 3 to 20. The bonus under each score is applied to any relevant action. For example, the strength bonus is added to the attack rolls. Oh, okay. Well, that's simple enough. Okay. Next. Ability scores can be generated seven ways, either randomly or using point systems. Classes have preferred ability scores, for example, Intelligence Fairy Wizard, so make sure your character's highest scores are the class's primary abilities. Okay. All characters' ancestries provide a bonus to some ability scores, lending to an int interesting ancestry slash class synergies. Ability scores can be increased at levels 4, 8, and so on. Fighters increase even more often. Understood. Um... As a sorcerer, your most important ability scores are charisma, constitution, and dexterity. Okay. Going into a point. Oh, okay. That looks. Remaining. Oh, uh, you know. Charisma, huh? Let's get all charismatic with it, dude. Dexterity. That's pretty sweet. we go back and just... Why is this so high? Why is strength so high? This doesn't make sense. Alright, I'm doing it my own way. We're gonna go full on dexterity, full on charisma. And uh... Full on constitution. There we go. That's what it said it wanted from us, right? Eight plus one. Oh, from ancestry. Okay. So we do want intel? We'll have a little intel in here, I guess. Maybe like that. Constitution's just health, right? 
I don't mind being intelligent and charismatic. I mean, where, how could we go wrong? And then my dexterity will be highest. 15 plus 2, 14 plus 1. I mean, we could actually, like... Alright, let's just... I, I'm cool with this. Hopefully this works. I'm like... This stage lets you acquire proficiencies in various fields of expertise. Your class and ancestry determine a set of proficiencies or range of options to choose from. The right side of the screen lets you choose your proficiencies by type and origin, and you must spend all of your points before you proceed. All right, fair enough. Most attacks and ability checks use the proficiency bonus to, to determine your efficiency. This bonus starts at plus two and increases at levels five, nine, etc. It is added to action rolls where the carry. So yes, it's D plus whatever. I get it. Ability checks, attacks, rolls, and proficient weapons and magical attacks and spell difficulty class. Understood. So, Marty plus two Arcana. I like the perception. Your wisdom check. How many points do we have? Saving throw. Ooh. See, I can't. I can't do. Sh Ooh, char charisma though. Acrobatics plus three. Athletics minus one. Climbing, jumping, or swimming. We might be in trouble with that one. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But look at all this, man. My stealth and stuff is. <laughs> um. What's performance? Music, dance, acting, storytelling, or some other form of entertainment. <laughs> what is the other form of entertainment? What is this? Yeah, that seems important. Well, boy, we got a huge history. I think this is important. Oh, it's suggesting. Your ancestry class background let you choose proficiencies and skills. Choose one skill from the arcanic. Deception, insight, intimidation, persuasion, religion. Insight. It was, um, check. Eh. We'll go... Deception. Oh. I'd just rather do perception, but it's only going to let me do that. I don't understand. Can I just... I don't have any wisdom, though. Wait, previous? Yeah, this is done. Next. I want... Or... I want a knowledge of spells. Oh, I can reset. Oh, there we go. Okay, that makes sense. Deception uses a uh, charisma. I think this all uses um whatever. It seems pretty good. All these seem pretty good. Tools. All right, ancestry languages. Oh, down here. Um, giant. Oh, you pick one. I think just dwarvish is cool. Terran, orcish. Druidic. We already have these inherent. I don't know. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to communicate with like crazy things or or goblin? It's even simpler than orcish. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna have a dwarf. Wouldn't we like to get along with him?
lesser beings such as ogres. I don't know. It'd be cool to know what orcs are up to. So we'll go that. Background language. Purpose. And, uh, you know what? Let's go Terran. There we go. Let's see if that works. Go next. Some classes have access to magic spells right away, while others have to reach a high level. This screen will let you choose which spell the characters will be able to cast. Some classes and ancestries have access to cantrips. The character must select an allotted cantrip from the list provided. Cantrips are simple spells, which can be cast infinitely without spending a spell slot, as opposed to main spells. Each provides a list of spells tailored to the class flavor. For example, clerics have healing spells, while a wizard can harness the power of elements. Some classes can access all of the spells from there, while others, like the wizard, must collect them in their spellbook. And finally, some classes require to select and prepare the spells through a long rest, while others are free to use. I get it. Understood. Acid Splash targets two, range 12. That's pretty good. Firebolt. I don't know. What are we doing? Spray poison, dancing less. We we we're acid, right? Sparkle. Target up to three objects that can be illuminated and light them up immediately. I think that might be important for hitting. Hmm. Shadow dagger. That's pretty neat. Light. I'm glad I chose sorcerer because I could do all this stuff. Lower the target's armor class and prevent. Reaction until the start of his next turn. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a melee hit. Slow them. I think we want Acid Splash. Annoying B, the target sees an illusional B. Harassing them has disadvantage of concentration checks. That's pretty cool. I mean, this is all right. I think we want to just do Acid. Poison spray. We'll do this. It's kind of our thing. Shield, that's all we can do. We can't choose any of this. Uh. Oh, we can still choose these. Last cash. Oh, that's my origin spell. Okay, uh, we can do a bunch of stuff. So let's do, um, target up to three objects that can be able to light them up immediately. That sounds important. Um, grants three temporary hit points for one minute. Self. Poison spray. Light. Oh, this is at range. This is at range, too. We already have firebolt. Ray of Frost. This looks important. This seems cool. Alright, we got a freeze. We got a light spell. Create dancing lights that move at your command, so that's kind of cool. I mean, we can go f Firebolt. Poison's always good. Oh wait, no, we don't want that. It's, it's range is too close. I'll try a Firebolt and then like, you know... An enemy you can see becomes luminous for a while. Wait, there's a lot of light spells. It makes me think I should have one more. We have that one, Dazzle. I think this might be important. Increase the chance to hit a target you can see one time. We'll go Shine. And what are these? Class spells. Oh, Burning Hands. Color Spray. Ooh, I like the blinding. Charm Person. Ooh, that looks good. Magic Missile. Let's 
Fall life. Jump. This is like a divinity, but it's a little more involved. Um, detect magic. Burning hands. Where's my acid spell? Man, I've chose acid. False life. What is this retreat? Gain movement points and become able to dash as a bonus action for a limited time. That's pretty cool. Gain a few temporary hit points. Color spray. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I think we're going to do charm person because that's just awesome. This looks good. Oh, that looks super good. Target four. I like this fog cloud. That would help me get away. I honestly like this retreat one a lot. Because we're like not very strong. Thunderwave. Three cell cube originating from you. The AoE. That seems pretty BA, right? Honestly. I don't know why it affect hit points for this color spray one. I don't know, man. I guess we'll just do Thunder Wave. Do we do a change? I don't know. I definitely want Charm because we have the Charisma. I feel like this might be better. But then maybe it wouldn't. Maybe this would be the best. Because if they go after me... This pushes him away though, right? Let's just, all right, we'll go next. We got our shield. Oh, cool. What is wrong with her face? What in the heck happened to her? Why does she look all beat up and gross? Uh, no scars at all, please? Uh, no scars at all, please? What is up with your face? Can we not have a weird black... Like... This is like... Death Stranding or whatever. <laughs> I guess that's just our class. We're acid dragons, so we got burned at one point. These all look the same, right? I want it to look more elfy. Like, sharp... Sharp features, but it's that's pretty good. Alright, this let's skin tone. That looks more realistic and just pale and a little less con yeah, you know what? I like that. I like that one. No scars. It's weird that you just can't have scars. Like you have to have scars. Oh no, scars one is nothing. Hair shape. Oh dude, I got scales because I'm like a dragon. Oh, that's cool. So we could technically, like, make Khaleesi. Oh, did she look jaundiced? Uh, so we, we can make Khaleesi. Didn't she have, like, green eyes? Body decoration? Or white, right? Ooh, that's better. Like a lizard? <laughs> so weird. I think I like the black one the best. We'll go like this. My hair color. Look like that. Look at this. Except she deals in acid. So we gotta go black. And the hair, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do like Whippy Goldberg did from The View that one time. Where she looked like one of the angels. The Furious Angels from Matrix Reloaded. Yeah, I liked what we had going before. 
Like, right there. Right there's pretty good. The hair, shape, that's not good. Such a weird, this is like, she looks like a mismade Dark Souls character. Stop moving back. I'm trying to see the back. You stupid. Stop it. <laughs> Why would it do that? All right. I want a haircut that looks like she's trying to hide her. She's embarrassed. That's part of her thing. There we go. Looks like a dude's haircut, though. It's weird that I say that, but it's kind of true. Boy, they got some weird... Alright, we've been through them all. I think I'm gonna stick with, uh... Look at this. This is fine. And then our hair color can be, like, uh... Red. No. It'll be, like, weird purple-blackish. I like that. Alright, your age? That's how we age, huh? Yeah, you're about right there. Physique? <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'll leave you small. You are a valued Such comrade. Athleticism. Fortune is fickle. A modest success. Most unfortunate that. That sounds like a dude. Curses! Your comrades My will fault. save you. Victory is mine. Is she? Oh, bad luck. You're still in the fight, my friend. This has to be a secret passage. I spotted a trap of sorts. Lucky, perhaps. I like that one, Runner. Kneel now, rise later. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just do this. Uh, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, we're not gonna do that. Let's, let's just finish. Oh, I gotta do in a name. Where, where do I do the name? Uh, name. Uh, name? Oh, it's up here. First name is gonna be Melina. From the Orps and Toddles. There we go. Melina, Orps, and Toddles. All right, all done. Um, not sure I want to go through all that again. <laughs> I mean, these guys seem like they had a good, are we going to have a low life paladin? He sounds great. All right, we'll choose you. Select. Uh, I'm just going to choose some pre-builds else we'll be here all day. This is something I should have done off of a, uh... but I mean, it gives you guys an idea of what's, what's to come. Uh, what are you? Sorcerer, cleric, rogue, barbarian. Ooh, I want like a, um, well, we got the paladin, so they're kind of healy. We'll get the rogue. All right. We got a paladin, rogue, sorcerer, and like, uh, I wouldn't mind like a, um, a ranger. There we go. Pretty good team. Right? Uh, what are you? What even are you? Or are we going to do like a fighter? You know what? We'll do a fighter. And a paladin and a ranger. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Doesn't Paladins kind of heal? I mean, we really just need... Someone who could... Cleric. Maybe a Cleric? Because they're kind of healy. It's nice to have a healer. And clerics like our fighters too, right? They have like a mace. 
I don't know. I really want the dwarf. I just want this dwarf here. We can change you out to a uh, cleric, huh? Because the, the, the... That might get, be a good range. I mean, we won't have a rogue. But it's nice having heals. That's probably a good mix, huh? All right. I think we're going with it. Uh. Oh. That looks good. I, I could, I'm fine with this. Hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. Casting spells, consume smell slots. Hmm. This is gonna be weird. Do we just get in one fight? Like, we have our cantrips, so we just want to save our spells for emergencies, I guess. All right, let's start it up. Before the cataclysm. Oh, sweet. There were no gods on Celasta. No humans either. Dude, intro. Then the rift opened. Some say it was a magical accident or the work of an evil god. No one knows for sure. The cataclysm destroyed the old High Elf Empire. Manakalan, they called it, and twisted the land beyond. Can't uh, hit a button here. Sorry about that. And then my mute went through, so you guys couldn't actually, um, <laughs> you actually couldn't hear me redo it. Before the cataclysm, there were no gods on Celasta, no humans either. Then the rift opened. You know what I'm gonna do? Some I'm gonna say. stop. I'm gonna stop the stream. I'm gonna make this better. I'm gonna stop the stream and restart it, 
and I'll, I'll make a different video about character creation. I'll be right back.